Hello, second grade, and welcome to today's science lesson. Today we are talking about the plant life cycle. And basically that just means the stages a plant goes from. So how does a baby plant look like to a full grown adult? <clears throat> so we're gonna look at this first picture. And this is maybe something you have or have not seen before, but I really like this picture because you're kind of getting like a cutaway scene of under the ground. So we'll talk about all the different stages, but think back to what you maybe learned in first grade. Do you know the names of all of these stages? Okay, think about it and then we'll go over it. So the first stage is something called a seed. The life of most plants all start with a seed. Seeds are a small plant covered with a protective skin called a seed coat. The seed coat will keep it safe from the weather. Well, what do seeds need to grow? Well, they need water, soil, sunlight, and space. Seeds come in lots of sizes. Most are small, but the biggest seed is called a coco de mer, and it is the seed of a palm tree and can grow to be 12 inches long and weigh up to 40 pounds. That's about as heavy as a microwave. Can you believe it? The next stage is stage two, called the germinate stage. So we all know it is important to water a seed. Well, as water is taken in, the seed begins to swell and fill up. It gets bigger and bigger, and this is the part of a plant's life cycle called germination. It means a plant is now beginning to grow. Neat, huh? Soon, a tiny part of the plant will poke through. Can you believe that little guy will soon be a big plant full of flowers? Another name for this could be a, a sprout. Stage three is the seedling. Soon after this, roots will start to grow down in the soil. The roots will hold the plant up nice and tall, and a sprout will grow up in the air. See the sprout in the picture? Its sprout needs food, so it uses sunlight, water, air, and space to grow. This little plant is called a seedling. Seedlings are small and thin and usually only have a few leaves. It may be small, but this little thing will be a plant before you know it. Stage four is called a young adult. The seedling is now growing bigger and soon it turns into a young adult. At this stage of life, the roots of the plants go down and start to spread out in the soil. It does this because the plant needs more support that it is growing to be much bigger. The stem grows stronger, taller, and thicker, and the leaves on the plant begin to get bigger too. There are much more of them now. Can you count how many are on this young adult? And finally, the last stage of the plant life cycle is grown adult. Finally, when the plant stops to grow, it has become a grown adult. Adult plants can grow flowers. These flowers will have their own tiny seeds inside of them. The tiny seeds will grow to be the same kind of plant as its parent. Animals and insects will spread these seeds as they are eating from plant to plant. The seeds will begin to grow into a new place and it is the start of another plant life cycle. So our last picture today is this one, which I thought was really, really cool. An artist drew this picture to kind of show what it looks like. So first you would have probably just a regular seed up here. But when a seed starts to grow, you can see it's just a little sprout. It's got one little thing down here. We've got this itty, itty, bitty leaf, but it's still mostly inside the bean. Then we start to get that seedling starting to come up. The roots are starting to come down. But notice the bean shape is actually getting smaller. And then finally we get down here. We're starting to get more taller. We're starting to get greener, right? right? We're starting to get that strong stem. And then finally we start getting leaves when it starts becoming the young adult. And then if we were to do this again, the bean would probably be gone and we'd have an adult plant right over here. So that is the plant life cycle. We start with just a seed, and we go all the way up to a grown adult. So hopefully you've learned something um, with this. Make sure you complete the seesaw activity after you've watched this video. Hope you guys have a great day, and keep on keeping on.